Hello and welcome to Model Dads. 28mm has become increasingly popular for skirmish games, so we thought we'd devote a week or so to looking at a range of different figures in this scale, starting with artisan designs of Waffen SS Panzer Grenadier Platoon for rules of engagement, kindly supplied by Nick over at North Star Military Figures. Artisan designs of Waffen SS Panzer Grenadier Platoon consists of 26 28mm single piece white metal figures that retails for £35.10, that's about £1.35 per figure. Currently Nick has this and other box sets on special offer at £30, which lowers the price to £1.15 per miniature. Figures come packed in what looks like a VHS case and consists of two eight men squads and a command team of six figures with a useful Vallejo painting guide on the rear insert. Each squad consists of two two man LMG teams, four riflemen and two NCOs with SMGs. The command team consists of one officer, two senior NCOs, two runners equipped with rifles, a medic or stretcher bearer, but no radio operator. Figures are cast on a medium thick base with some significant flashing and mould lines evident on many of the figures. Other than this, details are clear and well defined. Excluding their bases, figures measure a robust 3cm with a slight tendency towards some heroic proportions. Most riflemen, LMG teams and NCOs are represented advancing or standing with a few figures posed firing or kneeling. One of the LMG teams is sculpted firing prone. There's a good range of poses and repetition within this set was limited to one particular type. The best poses convey a real sense of urgency and movement. The worst, and fortunately this is limited, some comic effect. Whilst marketed as Waffen SS, the figures derive from artisan designs late war German range, particularly the infantry sections and command teams, and can be painted up as such without any difficulty. Indeed, other than the sinister looking officer, there's nothing that convincingly indicates that these miniatures are intended as Waffen SS. Figures are represented wearing a nice mixture of helmets and field caps with eagle and cockade, with some of the former modelling the bread bag strap or an improvised twisted wire frame to hold foliage. None of the figures in the sample provided wear helmet covers so characteristic of, but not exclusive to, the Waffen SS. Many figures wear either a Zeltbahn or a hooded smock, and whilst these are reminiscent of SS smocks, none of these were hooded as far as I know. Indeed, Mark 1943 marsh pattern hooded smocks in Zeltbahn 31 splinter pattern camouflage were issued to certain hair units in the later stages of the war. By contrast, other miniatures are sculpted wearing reversible or non-reversible winter parkas and possibly matching trousers. Field equipment is well represented with the obligatory bread bag, gas mask case, water bottle, some cooking pots, cartridge and magazine pouches all present and correct. Only one of the figures provided carries an entrenching tool and bayonet and the figures could benefit from a greater variety of personal equipment typical of the period that could include the presence of a close combat knife, stick, egg or rifle grenades as well as a spare barrel case or ammunition boxes carried by the LMG's number two. Again, it would be nice to see a little more variety in the range of weaponry, aside from the Car 98K and MP40, perhaps the rarer Gewehr 43 semi-automatic rifle, MP44s or Panzerfaust, although it should be noted that these figures are available as separate reinforcements. Looking at the characters in the command team, the inclusion of a medic is a nice touch, and he comes equipped with a field first aid kit, a first aid kit, and the obligatory armband indicating his role. The senior NCOs are two of my favourite figures, but again more personal equipment like binoculars or a whistle would have enhanced these figures greatly. The officer wears a rubberised greatcoat with cloth collar, flashlight and sidearm, but little else. Overall, Artisan Designs Waffen SS Panzer Grenadier Platoon provides new German players with the basis of a well-balanced understrength platoon of late war here Panzer Grenadiers at a reasonable price. Well posed figures will require work prior to painting to remove some significant and unfortunate flashing. Details are otherwise accurately represented in high relief, whilst the rather eclectic range of uniform types brought about by mixing the two constituent ranges within Artisan Design's late war Germans give this set a distinctly autumnal or wintry feel which may appeal to some but not others. Mixing a section of Germans in greatcoats and a few support weapons and before you'll know it you'll be in transit for Cologne, the Ruhr Pocket or the Reichswald Forest. Enjoy!